don't watch coding tutorials in 2026. Yep, you heard me right. Stop watching tutorials. And I know, I know you're probably thinking, but how else am I supposed to learn? Well, let me tell you something. I've broken a tech in under six months and have helped people of all different backgrounds and ages do so as well. And the ones who succeeded the fastest, they didn't spend all day watching tutorials. So in this video, to answer your question, I'm going to show you what you should be doing instead and the different strategies that actually work in 2026. So if you're ready to stop wasting time and start making real progress, keep watching because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to learn to code the right way. And just before we dive in, just in case you're wondering why you should listen to this random person on the internet. Hey, my name is Ayman. I went from working a blue collar job to landing an $80,000 coding job in under six months. I've interviewed at massive companies like Canva and have been recruited for dozens of six figure jobs throughout my career. And not to mention, I've also helped dozens of my students learn to code and land high paying coding jobs. So now that we have that out of the way, let's dive straight into the video and talk about our first topic, which is going to be tutorial help. So the hidden trap that most beginners fall into is tutorial help. But what exactly is tutorial help? Well, let me explain this with an example. Let's say you're learning how to code and you're following along with a ton of these five hour tutorials on YouTube. You know, the stuff that's like learn JavaScript in five hours or learn Python in five hours or build Amazon in three hours, the kind of really long course that you can see pictured on the right here. And after spending hours and hours watching all of these tutorials, you then open a code editor to try and write some code on your own. But your mind goes blank. You have absolutely no idea where to start. And you realize you have no idea how to code if you aren't following along with the tutorial. That is tutorial hell. The endless cycle of watching tutorial after tutorial after tutorial, but never being able to go out and build anything on your own. This is what happens when you constantly rely on coding tutorials tutorials as a crutch. But the truth is, it's honestly not even your fault. A lot of the problem is creators on social media putting this kind of content out and the way that they word certain things. For example, it's initially really motivating when you see videos with titles like JavaScript beginner to pro in 22 hours or learn Python in two hours. And I don't blame these creators for using these titles because that's what gets views. But the truth is when you get to the end of one of these tutorials and you realize that you haven't become a JavaScript pro in four hours and you haven't actually learned Python in two hours, this can cause you to get really frustrated and feel like there is something wrong with yourself. Feel like you're not cut out for coding. When in reality, this is how things are supposed to be. If it wasn't obvious enough, you're not meant to be an absolute pro after watching a two hour video. So now the question is, what is the solution? How do you get out of tutorial hell or better yet, prevent yourself from ever going into it in the first place. Well, the only way out is through what we call project-based learning. And it's one of the strategies I teach to all of my students to leverage them into high paying coding jobs. But what exactly is project-based learning? Well, contrary to what most people would think, project-based learning doesn't involve just jumping headfirst into a project without learning any theory and just hoping you figure things out. Instead, it involves blending the perfect mix of theory and hands-on practice so that you can learn to code in the most efficient way possible. So just to be clear, project based learning does still involve using tutorials and courses to learn the fundamental. But the difference is instead of just jumping to the next tutorial, like most people would, you'll instead dive into a project to practice all of the theory that you learned in a practical real world manner. And this approach of utilizing both tutorials while also building real world projects on your own will give you the best of both worlds. So not only will you learn the proper theory, the best practices, the proper ways to do things through the tutorials, but you also develop your ability to solve problems, weigh up solutions, write code on your own, and so much more from the projects that you build on your own. And that is how you escape tutorial hell. And that is also what companies are looking for in the developers that they hire. So now you can sort of see the value behind project-based learning. Now, the main question is, what is the best way to actually implement it? Do you watch one tutorial, then jump straight into a project? Do you watch a couple? Couple tutorials and then jump straight into a project? Do you alternate between tutorials, projects, tutorials, projects, one after the other? I mean, there's so many ways that you could go about this, right? But the project-based learning strategy that I personally take with all of my students that is working like a charm and getting them the best results currently goes like this. You start with a crash course, then move to three guided projects and then finish with a solo project. And again, this is the project-based learning strategy that I use to teach 
all of my students how to code. And in my opinion, it's the best and most efficient project-based learning strategy out there. Now, in order to make this all easier to understand and allow you to implement this strategy on your own, let's actually dive into the details of this learning strategy and show you how you can actually carry out each stage. But just before we get into that quick intermission, if you're interested in transitioning careers into tech in the next three to six months guaranteed, apply to join my coding bootcamp with the first link in the description. It's where I help dozens of career transitioners and career changes land 60 to 100k coding jobs guaranteed. But now that we have that out of the way, let's dive straight back into the video and walk through the learning strategy step by step and show you how you can implement it. So like I said earlier, the first stage of the three step learning strategy is going to be the crash course or beginner tutorial. So the first thing I start all of my students off with is a singular crash course slash beginner tutorial that goes over all of the basics or fundamentals of whatever it is they're trying to learn. So whether that's HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, the point of the crash course is to give you a big picture, bird's eye overview of everything that you need to know about this language or technology to get started with it. So in this stage, you don't want to get too bogged down in the details. So we're not looking for some 22 hour long crash course, but all we're looking for is a crash course anywhere from about 30 minutes to about five hours max, depending on what you're trying to learn. And essentially what you want to do is just go through it, take a ton of notes and also code along with the instructor to try and understand and take in all of the information that you are learning. Now, after the crash course slash beginner tutorial, the second step is going to be three guided projects. So the next thing that I have all of my students do is build out two to three guided tutorial projects. And this is where the real learning is going to start. And the point of these guided project tutorials is to teach you how to take all of the fundamentals all of the theory, all of the concepts that you learned in the crash course and teach you how to actually tie them together to actually build something in the real world. So obviously for my students, I have these guided projects laid out for them so they don't have to think about it. But for you, obviously, if you want to do this on your own, you're going to have to go out on YouTube or wherever and search for two to three guided project tutorials for the language or technology that you are trying to learn. And the goal is, is essentially for you to code along with the video, really try to develop that ability to write code independently. So as you obviously go through the first and second guided tutorial project, you won't be very confident. You'll still be trying to learn how everything applies in the real world and taking all the knowledge in. But once you get to around that second or third guided project, that's when you really want to start branching out, pausing the video, coding ahead, and again, really developing that ability to write code on your own and actually build something. And the goal here is to slowly progress your way to needing the guided project tutorials less and less. So during the first guided project, you're pretty much just going to be coding along with the video one-to-one, -one, taking everything in, learning the best practices and the proper ways to do things. And then once you get a little more confident towards the second or the third project tutorial, that's when you're going to start developing that ability to write code independently. So at that point, you'll be pausing the video, adding your own twists, coding ahead, adding extra features, sort of just taking baby steps to make yourself more comfortable writing code on your own and also tackling problems on your own. And once you've coded along with about two to three guided projects, you'll now move on to the final step of the three step learning strategy which is to build a solo project. So the final thing I have all of my students do is build out a coding project completely on their own. And this is going to be the true test. And this is where the majority of your growth is going to take place. This is where you're going to develop your ability to problem solve, think critically, research, weigh up different solutions, code on your own, etc. And to get your solo project idea, what I usually do is I literally give my students the solo project idea. So obviously based on my experience, I tell them, okay, I want you guys to build out this, 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 and that. This is going to test all the most important points and most important things that you need to know. But if you want to do this on your own, then maybe go to chat GPT and ask it for a solo project idea for whatever language or technology you are learning. But no matter how you get your solo project idea, if you can build out the solo project completely on your own and get it done, you now know you have a solid understanding of whatever language or technology you are learning, and you'll be able to confidently build projects with it now on your own. Now, the beauty of this learning strategy is you can apply it to any coding language, any technical skill, any technology. I mean, if you're learning React, project-based learning. If you want to learn Node.js, project-based learning. If you want to learn Web3, you guessed it, project-based learning. It's a repeatable three-step system for mastering pretty much any technology. So that's pretty much all for this video. But if somehow you've made it this far in and you're still doubting or questioning my advice, let me know when you're consistently landing your students 
I pay in coding jobs and we can have a conversation. If you want to learn more about how to learn to code and break into tech, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want a full training on everything you need to know to learn to code and land your first coding job, watch the video that's about to pop up on the screen now. And also, if you're interested in getting one on one coaching to land your first coding job in the next three to six months guaranteed, apply to join my coding bootcamp with the first link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.